Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It is the final day. Well, it's not the final day. We're leaving Saratoga this morning. Sad time. It's a departure day from Saratoga Springs. We are sad, but also excited. Mm. And a little bit nervous. Mm. A little bit nervous. Um, Hurricane Idalia is on its way. It's been upgraded to a Category 3 hurricane, I think, today. So it's going to hit us. Well, I don't think it's going to hit Orlando directly, is it? It's going to no. come past Orlando probably tomorrow. So we've got some hurricane prep to do. I say by prep, we're going to Legoland. <laughs> we have spoken to some people that live out in Florida and they've said it's fine to go to Legoland and yeah. then just grab some stuff on the way back. Where we're staying at Kadani Village, the actual hotel is all connected. Everything's connected. All the rooms are connected to the lobby. Yeah. And apparently they look after you really well, so we feel safe enough to just carry on our holiday as it is. Yeah. The only thing I have done in preparation is Matilda's Bibbity yeah. Bobbity Boutique yeah. Um, appointment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, which will happen on Tuesday. <laughs> but if you are, <laughs> you are. If camera. the hurricane, do, if the hurricane does hit and they close Magic Kingdom, she can't do Bibbity Bob's boutique. So I've booked another slot for the Wednesday. So either way, she's doing the boutique. It's yeah. either going to cost us ninety nine dollars or three hundred, depending on la, which day, la, because la, she'll not address la, if it happens la, on the Wednesday. La, la. Yeah. Exactly. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> and brief. <coughs> and breathe. Um, yeah, Mickey's not so scary. It may not be happening tomorrow. We may get our money back. We don't really know what's going to happen. Yeah. If I think if I was Disney and I see the winds the way that they are, I wouldn't be surprised if they closed it and they did. They just give everyone their money back because yeah. it's going to be like eighty mile per hour winds. I think at the moment they're saying yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. We'll I see. don't know how long it takes because if you look at the curve, we're not in the curve. We're not in that. We're just outside the curve. But we're still going to get, we'll still so we'll get, get warm. warm. We'll still get the winds. Yeah, 65 mile per hour winds apparently. Oh, there you go. Ugh. We'll still get winds. So. Yeah. But that's all set to change. It can change. Could change. It could change on a dime. It could yeah. hit us directly. You don't even know. But so we are going to go to Legoland today. Right, let's go. Um, yeah. Bell services have been. As you can see, our room is basically empty again. We just have bags to take them today and cuddly toys. There's a banana there. Blake's going to eat. This is Blake's car seat, push chair. This is all trash. Everything's been cleared out, apart from our drink bottle that we're taking today. Um, yeah, it's been an incredibly lovely stay. We've absolutely loved this resort. We are kind of gutted to be leaving because it does feel like home and the staff here have been incredible. Everything here has been lovely. But at the same time, I'm really excited to go to Kadani Village because Animal Kingdom Lodge. Why wouldn't you want to go there? So we'll see what it's like. So we're going to get a lift to Legoland now and just pop and see some people at the um, front desk and the counter call. So yeah. Goodbye, Saratoga Springs. Goodbye. It's not goodbye, Bye it's now. see you soon. See you soon. Because we'll be back. You are our home resort and we love you. I will be back on Friday. Mummy's feeling emotional. It's fine, we'll be back. It's our home. Right. Goodbye, room 8823. 8823. Recommend that room for anybody who wants to come grandstand. 8823. Well, it's a very beautiful little walk way right in towards Legoland, Florida. Wouldn't you say, Don? Very pretty. So we've taken our lift all the way from Orlando to here. It took about 56 minutes, I think it was. Traffic was fine, roads were fine. Got here in good time. Um, it's about, what, half 10 now-ish. So yeah, spend a good day here. Enjoy ourselves, have some fun. Before we head back to Orlando for some hurricane prep. More hurricane prep. It's much cooler, those are clouds around today, so it's going to be a bit of a cooler day, which is nice. So here is the Legoland Pirate Hotel, on the regular Legoland Hotel on this side. They're right to the left as you're looking at the entrance, which is just here. And as you can see, today looks busy. It looks like a good day here. I think we're going to be able to get on loads of rides. I think it's just going to walk on everything. Yep. Opened 40 minutes ago and there just looks to be nobody here. I'm assuming we need to go to the ticket place to... Redeem my vouchers, maybe? They've gone cashless. They've gone cashless? So that whole Spark the conspiracies. Here we go. Legoland, Illuminati, they're all connected. Everyone watch out. 
So right here next to the entrance they've got a check how tall you are height chart. So it essentially says the rides with a single rider as pictured here you can ride on your own or with an accompanying adult next to you. So Blake can ride everything up to here. So you can ride these ones alone if he wants to and these ones here with an accompanying adult because he's just about 44 inches. Right Blakey. So the shop is just as you enter, you know, trying to get you to buy stuff. And there's a giant ray and a tube bag in here, life size. I love that. Oh my God, carousel. There is a carousel. You're right, buddy. Are you excited? You can tell Blake's excited today. He's out the push chair. He's out the push chair, and we're at Lovely Land. So yep. Yeah. Refresh and refill. Free refills. They do ICs and the refills. We're not buying another refill cup. We've got too many, we've got like 17 this trip. We should go. No, we've got so many cups. We don't have to chuck it away. So where are we right now? Down Here's the entrance. Here. We've walked up here and we are around here somewhere, I'm guessing. The carousel. The carousel, there. we're there. Huh? That's what you call a busy day. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, closed, closed. Five minutes, five minutes. Oh, that's, it's Lost Adventure Kingdom, better not be the shooting one. That was fun. It is. Oh no, maybe it's just not open yet. Brickbeard's water stunt show, we're definitely going to watch that at either 12 or 2, probably 2 yeah. after we've done some rides. Yeah. First ride of the day, carousel. <laughs> so I caved and we do have a refillable cup, just for today. So we can drink ices because they do have ices here on Phil, and we need sugar. Um, it's, it's somewhere right. They said in Duplo somewhere we can fill it up with ice, ices. So we're looking for the icy place. We'll be around there somewhere. We'll find it. So refill for the icy machine should be somewhere down this pathway. Refresh and refill. Man, I'm good. I knew it was this way somewhere. So what icy did we get done? Raspberry. Alright, let me have a taste. Is it spectacular? That's very, very sweet. Anyway, while we're here, we might as well do Lego Movie World. Lego Movie World, where everything is awesome, but everything is cool when you're part of a team. Hello, how are you guys? Very good, how are you? Would you like to get your picture taken with Emmett? Oh, yeah, would you like your picture taken with Emmett? Oh, let's do it. Let's go meet Emmett. He's cool. He's just and it's air conditioned too. Yay. Oh yes. Oh, I'm at Lucy on my days. This is so good. I love that. We're gonna go on this cool Lego ride, Masters of Flight. Okay, so the Lego Movie World part of the park consists of three rides. Master of Flight, which is basically like soaring on speed. It's crazy. Blake didn't want to go on in the end, so Donna came off it, but considering she gets motion sick, she would have hated that. Absolutely hated it. It was crazy. One is one is hill. Yeah. Lots of flips, lots of loops, lots of dives. It's nuts. Um, they have this um, little drop tower behind me, as you can see here. Me and Tilda just went on that, that's really good fun. And they also have this crazy water ride over there where you're gonna basically go in rafts and battle people with water cannons. You're gonna get soaked, completely soaked. So we're not doing that yet, because if we do, we'll get chafed. There's also this little um, play section in the middle and a spot where you can meet Emmett and Lucy over there in that house. So and that's the extent of Lego Movie World. Basically, once Blake's finished messing around, as you can see, he's made a new friend around here somewhere and he's playing. Once he's finished, we're going to head north out of here towards the medieval part of the park. So yeah, so far it's a quiet day. This is the busiest <laughs> I've seen anything here so far. <laughs> Crazy quiet, isn't it? It's good though. So we've left Lego Movie World, we've refreshed our IC, and now heading north into the something king treasures of the kingdom area i think that says treasures of the kingdom is it creature or treasures no, it says 
creatures. It does. Now I'm getting closer. It says creatures. Don't, Who's the one that wears glasses? Yeah. Don't ever ask Blake, no, Jake, to read them. <laughs> yeah. I think Treasure of the Kingdom is better. Maybe that's a festival. I don't know. Either way, we're going to this medieval place. Yeah. See what we can see. I'm pretty sure that green dragon roller coaster's in here. Cool. Which Blake might want to ride. And there's some other stuff in here too, but that's the thing. Let's have a little goose. Yeah, the dragon. The dragon. It is so quiet. Look at it in here. It's eerie quiet, you're right. So the girls have decided to go on the dragon. And the boys are going round in circles on the train. They're doing ride again too, so if we want to get on it again, we can just stay seated. Here we go, Blakey. You ready? We're doing it, dude. We're rocking. That's good, man. So, Till, how was the Green Dragon roller coaster? It's a tame version of Stinker Dog. Tame sure version of Stinker Dog. Um, <laughs> their bike <laughs> was very cool in there. Yeah, cool yeah. Lego. A little Lego, but it's exactly the same layout as Windsor. So if you've been to Windsor, you'll know that ride. Cool. Um, but yeah, it's cute. All right. Sweet, let's move on out of the medieval place. Let's see what we got next. So we just came out of the castle, which is this way, came around here, and this, this little attraction here would be quite similar to those of you who've been to Peppa Pig World and to Legoland Windsor. This is the Royal Joust, and the kids are on there. Hi, Blake. There he goes. You got this, Blake. Good job. So, this is Legoland Resort Florida today. The date is Monday the 28th of August. It's quarter past 12. Quarter past 12, midday. Can you hear the music? <laughs> the extent of the busyness. There is currently zero queue for ice cream. It doesn't even look open. It's just crazy. So now we're going to head over here into the Egyptian area. I don't know what it's called. Something adventure. Um, land of adventure. Okay. That's what it's called. We're going to head in there and see if we can do the shooting ride that we did in Legoland Windsor because Blakey loved that. And because it's so quiet, we might be able to ride it a couple of times. I also meant to add that today it feels stupidly hot. I don't know why. It feels very, very hot. Despite my objections, I'm very, very happy we got the refillable icy machine. Refillable icy cups even. So good. So now let's see if we can get onto this right here. What's it called? Lost Kingdom Adventure. Let's do this. Here we go. Finlay's ready for shooting. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? You, you gonna win? Blake reckons he's gonna win. Mum gonna win? Till gonna win? Mummy's gonna win? I don't think so, we'll see. Let's see some stuff. So we did the Lost Kingdom adventure three times in a row. It's a walk on. A lot of times we just sat and then let us go around again, which is great. Um, Mum's here, she was a blasting superstar. She didn't win, but. Now she's realised that the uh, plastic seating in Legoland isn't the best. It's like burn your bum. Let's burn your bum. It's extremely, extremely hot. And the kids have decided to go on this beetle bounce ride. I think I'm on the right hand side. Let's see if I can see them. Here they are. My two little adventurers. So we're still sat here, the kids are on there for the second time. He loves it. Buddy, was that so fun? No, I was like screaming to death. You were screaming to death. Why don't you have some water before you get in? The kids are now going on the safari. There's the animals over there. We've got a good safari view from here. 
Attention. Blake needs an adult to go with him, so enter the Don. She's gonna have some fun on the safari. Because of Blake's autism and his other issues that he has, um, we were able to get him a hero access pass today. It basically means that he's able to go into the hero access pass or the disability entrance if we need him to. Um, on busy days it means he gets to skip short queues on longer days that give him a return time to come back, which is now right on the back. And then we come back, it basically means we don't have to wait in the queues where he's going to get overstimulated and cause harm to himself and others. Unfortunately, it's what happens with Blake. So, we've got that today. So, it's definitely something to keep an eye out for if that's something that you're going to need. So, yeah, Hero Access Pass. Remember the name. Attention, adventurers! Please remain in your safari car until now. Here we go. I won the safari this time, second time round. So what a safari buddy, here I am. Yeah. They said I was gonna spray oh, no. us, I might have to put the camera away in a second. Oh no. Wait. Oh no. Oh that ride looks up fun. Up that, up that. I already That ride looks great. I don't know, right? And no weight either. Wait, why we stop? Don't know. Beep beep. To your left you can see the African elephant. Did you know that a group of elephants is called a stampede? Yes. To your right you can see some springbok. You know, springbok are the smallest species of deer and can be found in South Africa and across the African continent. And over there you see some llamas. Llamas? They're ostriches. It's a joke from um, Dude Where's My Car. We're experiencing a brief delay on the safari. So hot. Oh no! So hot. Till so, do you remember the part of the SpongeBob movie when SpongeBob and Patrick got put into that spotlight and they started crisping up? Yeah. That's us right now. Who's Patrick and SpongeBob? Oh, you're Patrick because you're bold. I can see a refresh and refill station in front of us. It's like a mirage after being stuck on the Serengeti for a while. <laughs> oh, that was tough. But we made it. Donna and Blake were also stuck in the sun. It's fine. We crisped up a little bit. We did fine. We're okay. We're alive. We did it. We're gonna write a book about our adventure yeah, and how it went wrong. Uh, We're gonna write a survival book about our adventure, yeah. what we had to do to survive on the Serengeti. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna fill up on in this little re refresh and refill station. We could do Ninjago, depending on the weight, and then we'll head over to see the pirate ski stunt show, depending on the weight. So here we are, heading to the incredibly busy Ninjago ride. It's so busy that I can barely even get through this crowd. Excuse me, coming through. Mind out. Watch out. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Five minutes. No meet and greets today. Right, let's park up the stroller over here in this shade. And then we're going to go on the fun ride. So five minute wait means it takes five minutes to get through the queue because it is just a walk on. There's the ride. Who's ready? Do this. Oh, we're going. This is it. It's all kicking off. How was that? Work out? My arms are killing me now. Yeah. Mine and Tilda's thing wasn't working very well. I just started doing the spider man with two hands and it worked. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It works better. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. So this motion. Yeah. This motion. It says that no one's flying out from MCO or Tampa till Thursday from midnight tonight. Wow. Which means I think that'll affect people coming in. I think it will affect people coming in. So we've got a holiday book. Be careful. By the time people watch this it'll be oh. long gone. The Finlay's have ice cream. I think we do this before we went to go to see the show. Give us some sugar, cool us down. I can't believe how quick the day's gone. I know, right? It's been two o'clock. It's been flying by because we've been having so much fun. The whole theme park to ourselves. So we have found the Pirate Cove Theatre. And I must say, it's so quiet. We've nearly got the whole theatre to ourselves. 
Let me show you. It's crazy. This place is great though, look at it. Brilliant. Welcome to the Finlay family's near private theatre. There they are down there in pink. Look, there's like barely anyone here. The show's about to start in like 30 seconds. That's crazy. Today you'll be witnessing the final testing of our newest students, the Sea Dogs. If they pass, then they get to graduate today as well and receive their golden eye patch. stunt show it was brilliant we really enjoyed that it's very warm but me and Till are gonna go on this um we're gonna go on this great Lego race coaster it's five minute wait so we're gonna hop on there now I think mum and Blake are gonna wait just out here me and Tilda have done the Lego Technic roller coaster. Now Blake is getting his driving school license. Matilda how was the Lego Technic roller coaster? Really fun um you almost pooed your pants I must admit I think that's probably the scariest type of ride I've done the entire time I've been here. There's crazy mice when they go right to the edge and you think you're going over, I hate that. Being afraid of heights, that's like my fear. That I hate it. What, the dragon, was it? Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Give me Mako any day, give me any roller coaster any day of the week. That scary as hell. Watch where you're going. Don't crash into the walls. That's it, dude. You're nailing this. On a busy day, what's the wait time for this? Uh, 180 minutes. And what was the wait today? Walk on. Walk on. With no one behind. Look, look at this place. Normally I bet this place is heaving with all the little kids. But there's just no one here. Dude, what did you get? You got your driver's license, man. Dude, you got it. Let me see it. Let me see for the camera. Wow. The driving school license. That's you did amazing. it. So we've done Ninjago a second time. Blake's done his driving school license as you've seen. Filled up on ICs and we're going to start to move our way out of the park because it's getting on to like nearly four o'clock. We want to get back to get something to eat. Go to Walmart and then head back to Animal Kingdom Lodge. But where else would we rather be than Florida do you think? Butlins, anyone? This is not a mind you of Butlins. Look at it. Back at Butlins. Bloody Butlins. No, just kidding. It's the exact same tent as Butlins, just on a smaller scale. And this is where they've got the uh, the little Lego cities that are incredible. Actually, I'm not gonna lie to you. They are bloody brilliant. They look so good. This looks like Vegas over here. And there's like more Vegas over here. I feel like I'm walking through Vegas. Who needs to go to Vegas when you got Butlin slash Legoland? There's NASA Space Centre. Looking pretty. How's it feel being in the Skyline Pavilion? Love it. Skyline Gang. Best Skyline Gang. These are just crazy. Like look at all the buildings right up in the back, like the Empire State. My god, they're so big and they're so detailed. It's cray cray. This is insane. Some of this detail is nuts. Look at that car going around. Yeah, it is Daytona. That's cool, isn't it? So, after a hot day, we are now in the gift shop. Just checking out some merch, soaking up some AC before we head out to... um really melting. To get our lift to Manny. It's so hot. I don't know why it's so hot though. It feels boring. Hey, no, I'll tell Don, look at this price girl. Oh, cool. They're pretty funky. Price girl, $50. 
So yeah, we're gonna get our um, lift now to Manny's chop house and have some food. So we'll see you there. Good day. Brilliant. Very hot. Very very hot. But there's barely anyone in the park. So we did loads of stuff multiple times. We had a good day. The gift shop was exactly what you expect from a Lego gift shop. Lego stuff everywhere. Lego stuff's always expensive. Here was no exception. But you know, good stuff nonetheless. But so uh, now we're just going out to meet our lift so we can head over to Manny's Chop House and get some good food. Because we've not eaten since breakfast. And even that was a very small breakfast, wasn't it? Yeah. We didn't have very much. So let's go and meet our lift driver. Who's our lift driver today? I have no idea. Oh, oh. sorry. It's Desmond. Desmond. Let's go meet Desmond. So we've come to Manny's Chop House. Manny's Chop House is a crazy, old school, lovely steakhouse and it is beautiful in here. It's so nice, the service so fast and friendly. We've just ordered our drinks and now we're deciding what to have on the menu. Yes, it's ho happy hour. I only said hoppy hour. Yes, it's happy hour. Manny's Chop House. Two Stella for the price is one. Mum has a, what do you have? Gym. Oh, okay. On the rocks. You nearly got a Manhattan, but realised you didn't like them. It's awful. Bye. We've got two of them now. Oh. It's so Donna's drink may have been a bad choice, but it's fine. She said gym, not Bacardi. I thought she did. It does taste a bit Bacardi-ish. Wow, well, drunk as a skunk. Not with that steak. And the kids are happy with their apple juices and water. This place is done up. We've got like license plates and things on the wall. And I'll do a little tour in a minute. Um, we've got some neon lights everywhere, advertisements. It's great. This place is mint. So the salads are endless, mixed with their own garlic ranch dressing. Here it is. And the butter and the bread looks so good. It's warm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's toasty. And it comes with regular butter and their very own cinnamon butter, which smells. Amazing. Can I just say, that bread is one of the best bread I think I've ever tried. And that cinnamon butter is phenomenal. I don't know what they've done, but it's just... You know it's been tough when, we've had, when you've had two Stellas, when you need two Stellas. And me and Mum are having the best time. She's got the Cardi apparently. We've got the music going. Look, this is parenting. This is parenting. Miserable child number one. <laughs> Miserable child number two. She's apparently cold. It's 90 degree Florida. She's cold. Yeah. But this is parenting in 2023. If you had a Coraline jumper, if you had a Coraline jumper, everything would be better. But it's packed in the suitcase, currently somewhere at Animal Kingdom. So sorry, not today. <laughs> when we get back from where are you? If you have some of like, that cinnamon uh, butter, that'll warm you up. Trust me. Because you can't. Well, you don't have a card again. That's what she said. Here we go, let's test this. Medium red steak just turned up. Let's cut this bad boy. Let's have a little look. Oh, like butter. Excuse me. Welcome to Manny's, baby. Forget about it. That's amazing. Well, I haven't had a taste yet, so uh, let me do a taste. Then. What can I say? It's steaky, it's juicy, it's seasoned really well, a little bit peppery. Here she goes. Yeah, it's the same face I made, almost identical. Right? How's your chips? This dude's got a birthday. Matilda is on a second plate of fries. Blake has disappeared. We've we'll already boxed up his chicken nuggets for him. Donna is steaming. struggling, steaming. Oh, She's gone. 
she's gone. I'm on beer down, food gone. Probably the best meal I've had since being in Florida. Would you agree? Yeah. Hands down. The food has been lovely. Incredible. It feels like America in the 90s. Yeah. We drove through a place called Winter Haven and it was like heaven. It kind of reminded us of um, like some city on Dallas, didn't it? What? E.T. Really? It was just beautiful. The houses were stunning. Like, yeah, this meal has been the best so far. Blake's kind of given up and he's in here. So as it's our first time in Mammy's, they brought us a dessert. That's so crazy. This thing, oh, it's warm. Oh. Wait, is it? Yeah. I was like, I said, too, look at this dessert they're bringing to someone's table and it just happened to be ours. Look at it. That's so nice. So lovely. Full up. You haven't finished the steak yet. Totally you full up. You've got room for the pie and ice cream. If not, you guys are about to see something real special. <laughs> so, it's just been me eating this dessert. I don't think I can do any more. I tried really hard. I've ate about half of it, but I'm done. These two have given up. And they just brought around our bill, on. How much is the bill? 75. Seven, is that it? $75 for four of us to eat. Steaks. Steaks, too. Salad, bread, drinks, alcohol, two bottles, two Stellas, two. And those, those Bacardis I've been drinking, looking back, they're strong. That's crazy, isn't it? Two apple juices. A second order of fries. They haven't charged her for her fries. That's amazing. They haven't charged her for her fries. Manny's Chop House. Manny's Chop House is the one. When people say you can't eat cheap in Orlando anymore. Come to Manny's. Come to Manny's. Manny's is the one. I just wanted to give you guys a little look at what Manny's looks like on the inside. This is very much Americana. The roadside kind of. Almost a diner kind of feel with locals there at the bar. And all sorts. It's just... A really, really cool spot with, um, yeah, loads of really cool license plates on. We've got like South Carolina here, we've got Florida, we have a Rhonda Valley Hackney carriage. I have no idea what that's doing in there, but I'm well impressed with that. And yeah, it's just um, a really cool roadside place. So we're sat right down over here. Beers are done, drinks are nearly done. Matilda's done, food is boxed up, drinks are ready, Blake is done. Well, we're going to head straight back to Kadani village. They haven't given us a room number. They haven't given us a room number yet, so we're going to head straight back there. Any supplies we need we'll get at the hotel. And let's see what we can do. Our lift is coming in six minutes. Five minutes, four minutes. Four minutes, Louise. We should probably get outside. Let's roll. It's changed, we've got bread. We've got bread. Okay, a bit bigger. Okay, Paul's skate's a bit bigger. Brett. Brett. So we've just taken our Uber from Manny's Chop House to Animal Kingdom, Kidani Village. And I've got to tell you, it looks lovely. Manny's Chop House was great, our Uber was great. And now we're here at Kidani Village. So let's go and see if we can check in, get allocated a room, and get our bags, because they are somewhere. Who knows where? We don't know. It's so nice. Proverbs are like butterflies. Some are caught, some fly away. Oh, the smell. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is beautiful. Holy moly. Welcome home, baby. Welcome home. Just go that way quickly, look. That's better. Look. Look, out the window, look, 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 look. There's a giraffe out the window. <laughs> There's a giraffe. <laughs> I know. You can go out there and just watch him. There's a zebra over there. Oh my days. Oh my god, I think it's one of my <laughs> ultimate favourite. There's draft just walking past the window. No, there wasn't. <laughs> Hello, Zebras. Are you joking? <laughs> so, we've been in our Kadani village room now for about an hour. 
the fin laser in town. We've had some problems again. I think we might have said in the vlog before we had some issues with some cleanliness. We got into this room and um, yeah, there was still a lot of dust around and hairs on the bed and the sinks. Donna being Donna was like, I'm not having this. And she wasn't overly impressed with the room anyway, just because Kadani Village is a very different feel. As you can see, like it's very kind of old school Disney. It's quite, it's a different aesthetic to Saratoga Springs. And Donna wasn't very happy with the view as it was of the car park. car park. So she was kind of in a bit of a, you had a bit of a bad taste in your mouth, didn't you, when you come from Saratoga. So we decided to complain. Donald called up and got the house manager, Austin, out, who's come and took pictures. Lovely really lovely guy. <laughs> that'll, that'll be front desk on the phone now. Hello. So, while that's going on, e either way, Austin, the house manager, came up, had a look at the place, and was like, no, this isn't acceptable. Good thing you guys haven't unpacked. I'm gonna see what I can do for you to make things better. He went away, yeah. came back and was like, yeah. you're moving from here, from Kadani Village to Jumbo House. We're gonna change yeah. your room. We've upgraded you to a Savannah view. We are putting you in what we call a world room. So instead of having a bed and a pull-out couch, you're gonna have two queen-size beds. Okay. Um, we won't have the whole kitchenette set up, but we will have a fridge um, and a microwave and stuff. So. Either way, they've got that ready for us, and I'm sure they're currently expecting it, inspecting it to make sure it fits the criteria. So that's um, okay. the front desk yeah. who's changing our magic bands over to our new room. They're going to be sending bell services up in a second to pick up our bags, yeah. take them all over to Jumbo House, and they're going to transport us over there too. So it's not that far away, but it's, not, it's a long way with eight bags, you know. So do we have our room, new room number for Jumbo House? What is it? It is... I've just given everyone the lowdown while you're on the oh, phone. Oh, you did. I did. 3325. 3325. And so we are currently basically around here looking out on the buses. They're moving us to Jumbo House somewhere in this block. Feel a bit happier? Yep. I thought you were going to put on your sunglasses then like you achieved something. It pays. It pays. I know we're British and we like to be steadfast yeah. and stiff up a lot. Well, that's but not happening nowadays. Things are different. The Finlay's are different. To be fair, we met um, up with our friends Destination Disney. Not Destination Orlando, are they? They're definitely no, Destination Disney. Disney. I always want to call them Destination Orlando. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, but um, they did give us some valuable information, some valuable tips, so we appreciate it guys because you kind of encourage us to complain a little bit more because let's face it, we are DVC owners, right? We own, we own property with Disney, correct? We own zero point whatever percent of an acre of the properties. We pay a lot of money for that and we pay dues every year. These are deluxe five star resort hotels. So if they're not clean, if they're not up to the standard, then you need to tell them to do something about it because if you don't, it's going to walk all over you. Why are you giving them the money if they're not going to deliver the goods? Like, like if you went to a five-star um, hotel in Dubai or, or anywhere else, can you imagine the cleanliness? It's a different story. So if things aren't clean here, you've got to tell them. And for the most part, they're really apologetic, mostly embarrassed, but um, they're always trying to do something to help you out. So if anything's not up to scratch, let them know. And most of the time as well, the nice dudes like Austin here, and was it Gustavo at, oh, Gustavo, sorry, at Saratoga Springs. So I mean, they're good people. They're good people. So in theory, they should be here with our bag, for our bags very soon. So um, we're gonna hop over to Jumbo. Okay, so the Finlays have arrived at Jumbo House. <sighs> there are some issues. There's no issues. It's brilliant. It's really good. They've done well. The room is clean. It seems to be clean. It's much bigger than the other one. Um, let me just show you quick. So this is what the room currently comes with. Not a child. She's not here. But there is wardrobe. I think the safe is somewhere. It's a very small wardrobe actually. I think the outside. That's like you couldn't even fit in there. Why is, what's this bit? That's a really strange design choice. Anyway, right, anyway, on this side there is. Mm. Oh, 
there's more down here. Safe. Oh, some more storage down there. Okay. Steamer, extra pillows, blankets there, which is nice. We have a Keurig coffee machine, a little paper bin. Oh, look at the little. That's the ice box. Sorry, yes, that is the ice box. I was distracted. Um, which is nice. There is a drawer here full of coffee stuff and cups. There should be a fridge in there that's actually a decent size. Not too bad. We haven't got any plates, but they would bring us another. They bring us another fridge if we needed it. Here we have a full-length mirror. Okay, right. Ready? Bathroom with some Disney. Hakuna Matata, which means what? No, it means no worries. Close. And he's no worries. And we have a double no. vanity, so we can have two people doing their teeth at the same time. That's pretty decent, right? Which will be your mummy, not me, though. Yeah, you don't brush your teeth because you're very <laughs> scuzzy. Um, very clean toilet and um, shower. I forgot what the shower was called then, but it's definitely a shower. <laughs> very clean. Very nice in here. I feel like this is a newly refurbished room. I don't know if all the rooms at Jumbo House have been refurbished recently. Maybe only some have. They called this a world room, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. This looks kind of like a Mickey on the side. See? Oh. Need a Mickey, maybe? You'd be the judge. Oh, yeah. Um, again, big drawers for stuff. Everything's great. We had a conservation fund book in the other room, too, so that's here for us to read about. It already says, Welcome Finlay family. We have two queen size beds with similar headboards to Kidani, but these are much bigger and more grand, which is nice. And we have this cool artwork here with it looks look like, like cave paintings, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very nice. Very nice too. Very nice too. Mm -hmm. um, and they've also, this type of room, this world room, didn't come with a microwave, so you've got a microwave. I feel like this isn't a DVC room, is it? Jumbo isn't DVC. This isn't DVC. Hence why they've moved us over here. Yeah, so we would normally have a sink mm -hmm. and a full size fridge, but they have gotten rid of all that yeah. for us to come here. Yeah. For the space, I think, and the fact that it kind of sells itself when you've got on the balcony. Yeah, as I mentioned to you, we have a Savannah view room. There's, I'm not gonna move much further so the camera's gonna disappear, but can you see out here, there's some gazelles and they're sleeping right outside our balcony. The one in the front keeps looking at us with his ears poked up. He's like, what? Oh, the other one's just moved too. And they're like, what you looking at, punk? Yeah. They know we're here, but we're not going to hurt you. We're just looking at you because I'm in love. And <laughs> over there, there's a zebra. And if you can see him, he's moving. Yeah. Wait, is he? There he is. <gasps> oh, my so in the morning, I'm going to be out here first thing, drinking, spot, coffee. drinking coffee, spotting the giraffes. You wait. So this is a very, very big improvement on our last room. What would you say? Amazing. Much better, eh? Yeah. You did the right thing by speaking up. I'm sure we could deal with this. Blake said he's thirsty for milk, so we'll go downstairs see if we can find him some milk somewhere. Good old Blake. Um, yeah. And we're just waiting for our luggage now to come from Bell Services. It's coming, it's on its way, it's automatic. And actually the house manager, Austin, walked us to our room. He met us at the front door and walked us. Intentional or not, I don't know, but it was quite nice to have an escort. So yeah, this is us for the night. So we're probably going to check out because I'm tired. I don't want to talk to anybody anymore. I love you all, but I'm tired, man. So I've just got to turn off. So goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Do you know what bye is in Afrikaans? Um, no. No, nor do I, but I'm just wondering if you do. I don't know what it is in Swahili either. Shut Is it Jumbo? It's not shut up. It's not Jumbo. I don't know. Comment below if you know the answer to that. Yeah, I don't know what it is. My friend Vera at work used to teach me Swahili, and I don't think I ever know what goodbye is. I could say like hello and how are you and respond, but I can't say goodbye, so. Anyway, comment below. We'll speak to you guys tomorrow. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, hurricane should hit tomorrow, so it might be a blustery vlog. Enjoy us. Yeah, episode of Winnie the Pooh, but it's a very blustery day. It's gonna be that. So, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.